I'm Kim Castro, your painting instructor. Today we're excited to start another brand new painting. So let's get started. Get your brushes out, your paint, your easel, and this is the one we're going to do today. So let's sit down, relax, and have fun doing it. Hello and welcome to Kim Castro Art. Today we're going to be working on a little painting. It's a, like a patio in Vienna. And this is going to be done in acrylic. This is 11 by 14 canvas and we're going to go ahead and get started. I'll, I will put the colors across the screen here because I'm not sure what they're all going to be right yet. But first we're going to be using some Payne's Gray, Burnt Sienna, and some Violet in Titanium Water. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to wet my brush here. I'm using just a small little quarter inch flat brush. I'm going to get a little bit of Payne's Gray. And I want to get some of the darker shadows, but I'm going to actually add a little bit of this violet into it. Because it's a violet based painting a little bit, a little bit of violet in the, in the shadows here. So we'll see if this is going to be dark enough. I'm not sure if it will be or not, but we'll see. So it's going to be a, a bit, this video is going to be a bit time consuming most likely. So. Hopefully, bear with me, and I hope you watch the whole video. Um, I know a lot of people weren't really watching as much as they should. Um, that's how you learn is by watching the whole thing. So I'm just we can make some changes here if we have to, but um, actually I wet the canvas a little bit, even in the back of it. I want to keep it wet because this is acrylic, and acrylic tends to dry really fast. <coughs> And this is the underside of the, the uh, window here. So we're just getting in the shadows is all we're doing right here. Trying to put the shadows in. I wanted to get concentrated on those before we got to the wall part. Because when this dries, I may need to darken it some more. There's a good likelihood that I will, or at least in some areas of it. So we got this one. We're going to get every one of the most shadows first. Make sure we get plenty of paint in there. I got a little bit of water in there. Probably a little bit more water than I really needed. So we'll probably hit it again here. A little bit more. Make sure it's good and dark. Okay, now... I want to look for any other that's, any other area that's got some of that darkness in there. <coughs> and actually this one's going to be a little bit lighter up here. So we've got some that's going to be coming up around in here. And we'll be adjusting that most likely at some point. And it kind of comes across the bottom of the step right here. That's going to be the shadow, and that's going to come all the way down to about into here, behind this planter right here. About right there. Okay, let's see where else we need to have some. <coughs> Oops, down this doorway I noticed uh, this is going to be also dark in here too. So we'll go ahead and get this too. But we'll get a little bit darker. Now I drew this out, just kind of a rough sketch, and uh, you can always go back and take a screenshot of the picture itself when I first brought it on. If anybody actually wants to get a copy of the picture, just leave me a message and let me know. And I will set up a link somewhere where you can download the, a copy of it. I think I got a copy of it somewhere I can download for people. Okay, this side, this one here is not quite as as dark. I'm not actually looking at a picture, so 
episodes. This kind of comes rounded about right here. And actually that line shouldn't have even been there. I'm not sure why it was. But this comes about right here. It's kind of rounded in here. About like so. About like that. And hopefully that'll be long enough. But we're going to come all the way down the side of the door. There. There's the thin line there. And the door over here. I'm going to put a bit more purple in that this time though. Because this door is actually going to be purple. Light purple. See that's got purple in it. Coming down all the way to the bottom. It's kind of got a shadow in there, so even though it's you can see it's making a little bumpy things there, but I probably should have put some gesso on this first, which I didn't do. <coughs> then we got two old-fashioned hinges here. And it's going to be like a little bit of a bump there. A bump here. But it sets up against the wall. And then we'll go ahead and color in here. About like so. Just a little bit darker maybe. But not too much darker, very little. Very little. About there. This one here is my lines a little bit further than it should have been, but I can see that it's back this way a little bit more. bit thicker maybe. And we can add some more to that if we need to. And then we're going to take eventually we'll be put some lines down here. We can do that actually right now. Very carefully. I drew some little lines to to follow. Just draw them little lines in there. Like so, and follow them on down. They don't have to be perfectly straight. This is an old door, so it's probably not perfectly straight boards. At least in the picture that I see. Add a little bit of water to it if it wasn't if it's not flowing too good, just add a little water to it, it'll help it all the way down. Okay, you see I went ahead and I did some of the other dark areas. I didn't want to um bore you with that. I'm just giving you an idea where to put some of the other dark spots right here. You can pause it and see. As you can see, I finished the lines and everything. And now I'm going to take, and we'll get a little bit of water. And we're going to go into this same little bit of a mix. We've got some purple and black. But we're going to water it down some and make it a little more purplish. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start putting some of this lighter color. The water is actually going to thin it out enough that it will make it automatically lighter. 
So we're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll paint in a lot lighter areas here of this door. And we're coming down to about this point right here. About right there. And that's where we're going to go. So I'll probably use a little bit bigger brush so we can go a little bit faster with it. Grab a bigger brush. Wet it. We'll get some paint here and then we can go ahead and do that a lot quicker. And just kind of push it right into the canvas. Your other paint is probably dry on your canvas by now, so it's probably not going to bother it a bit. Give it a little more water. You may have to keep adding water to your mix right there. We'll be adding some white spots in there too eventually here with some white. That main thing is we want to get some paint on there first. <clears throat> and at the same time, we'll go ahead and we'll put some uh, same purple color right over here. on the side of this window where this um, shade is outside window shutter rather. same thing just put it right in there more water And I'm actually almost watercolor painting on this one because <coughs> the original picture I saw of this was actually in watercolor, so it's making me tend to paint it lighter. But I like the effect it had with the lighter colors, so I'm kind of sticking to the plan and doing it that way. And you see I got some lines coming across here, so hopefully you put them lines in when you saw the picture. You don't have to be exact, but just put some lines in there. And we got one more spot here, and that will be where the door is right here. And that's going to be from here to here, and, and we got a door jam over here, or the inside of the door which will add some shade in there with a different color. It's going to come down about right here. And we're going to have some flowers in here too, some, in that area there. A bit more water. Down the edge. There. And we'll go ahead and fill that in. Blend it right up into the other, the darker color, very carefully. About like so. And just go back and forth, up and down on it there to make sure it's good and smooth. Okay, so you wash your brush, and we'll go ahead and start with another color. And that will be, we'll get the, the browner color, which we want to get a little bit, a brush that's a little bit thinner than that, a little bit not so wide. And I don't want that one. Let me see if I can find another one. <coughs> Alright, this will work. I'm just using like an oval brush. And I'm going to take wet that brush first. 
I put it in some of this uh, burnt sienna. And it looks like I may need to add just a touch of black to that burnt sienna, just a touch of it. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and we'll put some right by the door here. And this is where you can cut out. It should be rounded in here a little bit. About right there. Bring that in. there. Let's get an angle right here because it's got the patio right there so it's an angle to it. Okay. Now we'll use the same color over here on this window. To the inside. Then bring it right down. Straight. If your line's crooked like mine, you can correct it about right here. And in fact, while you've got it, you might as well go ahead and put a little bit right here. Actually, from the back, just past the window a little bit on that left side. And it comes in all the way over here. Same way, and that was that'll be hidden, so that won't matter. And go ahead and fill the rest of it. And we'll make that probably a little bit darker. We might have to, but we'll probably add some darkness to it. You can always add a little darkener to it to darken it up if it's not dark enough when it dries. Okay, now I did notice that the, the lighter area, a little bit of white in with the brown, just a little bit. A little bit more than that. Let's see. This will do it. Right behind. This is actually only going to be one tree here, so it's right over here. This is the shadow of the tree, is what it really is. So we're going to put this in kind of a shadow brown color. Comes all the way down to about right here. But it's definitely lighter than the other brown. Not like so. Okay. <clears throat> now when we have that brown going, let's go ahead and get a little bit of bright red. Just a tiny little bit of bright red. And put it on your palette. You don't need much, just a tiny bit. And we're only going to need just a drop. And we're going to take some of that brown, we'll put it over here in another spot here, and just grab a little tiny bit of that red. A little bit. Maybe a little bit more white. Make that a little bit lighter. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make that color for the vases for the flowers, these little outside flower pots like. And these might be a bit dark still, but we'll see. So we'll start with the one up here. We're going to have some darker areas right here. And it's really not quite as red as I want it. A little bit more white. A little more white, a little more red.
sometimes. It's almost to the, an orangey color. You probably all know that already. It's kind of almost an orangey color. We're going we're gonna to lighten it up some more in a minute, but I'm just getting some of the darker areas of that particular color. And that's all that I'm doing. Maybe on this side here, a little bit. And maybe on the very top right here a little bit. And over here, well, probably just about good in here. But this is kind of a mess right here I got, but I'll get it fixed as we go. Maybe a little bit here. Let's start the one here. About like so. And then we'll go ahead and grab some more white, and we're going to lighten that mix up pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and we can go ahead and lighten it with this. And we're going to have to put some lines in there too with the dark, but we can figure that out as we go here. Not like so. Once we add the lines and stuff, it'll clean that all up and it'll look totally different. just kind of getting a placement for where they're going to be. We know where they are. We won't paint over them with the other colors. And that's kind of the main idea here is just so we don't lose what we got. We can always add some lighter tones to it later or darker tones. Whatever it needs. Blend them in more. And don't forget to keep spraying your paint once in a while. Make sure you keep it wet so it won't dry up on you. Let's see if I can fix this mess I got right here. Not like so. The, flower, the flowers are most likely cover all that mess right there, but I'm still going to do it anyway. I'm going to blend right into the other color. This probably comes out about a little bit past on the top. I'm sitting on the steps here. But we can always cut that back off if we have to. And we'll come up here and we'll do the same thing. And don't concentrate too much on this right side here and we're going to be adding you can put a little bit in there if you want to but we got to add some purple to that it's mostly predominantly over on this side over here this is not a totally lifelike picture it's more of a impressionist type of a painting but you still get the idea of what it is So I'm going to wash my brush. I think what we'll do is I'm going to grab a little bit more of that purple before it dries. And it's going to go right in here, but add a little bit of that paint gray to it. Because we've got a shadow here and we didn't compensate for that yet. So that's going to be right about here on this side of the pot. All the way down to the bottom. About like so. Maybe we can make it a little bit darker. Okay. Be 
gets too wet and it keeps pulling up the paint. Just let it set for a while, it'll dry. When it's, once it dries, you'll be able to do it again. No problem. Okay. Now let's go ahead and we'll rinse that off. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get that small brush again that we had earlier. We need to draw some other lines. And that's going to be with the Payne's Gray again. And with the purple mixed in. Get some more purple. Payne's Gray. Mix them together with some water. And we need to do the vent up in this shutter right here. And they're kind of a thick line, so just give it a, a fair amount of paint, get a pretty good amount of paint on it to do that. Just pull it in both directions so it's nice and flat and it's pointed. And that's really all you need to do. You don't have to be perfect, just Try to go one way and then lift it up. You can always clean up the edges with a little bit of water in a brush. You want to get them straighter. about the same distance apart. Probably didn't even need this many lines, but I like to draw lines, so why not? And you can touch them up again if you need to. And now we've got to do the insides of this, this window here, basically. So we're really going to be leaning toward the purple on that with some water in it. And they're going to be just like this, just fill them in. We're going to add some shading in there also. But uh, these lines are actually supposed to be white, so I didn't we have to come back over that after it dries with the. We try to leave the line so you can see it, that's the main thing. water if not we'll have to gas although once that dries you'll probably see the line anyway if you add water to it it should should go to see it Now in this painting, you say, I can do a, a watercolor with acrylic. This is basically what we're doing, a watercolor with acrylic paint. Okay, so you can see the lines, no problem. And um, probably want to make some little darker areas in here, because it's going to be a little bit darker up in this area here because of the, the shading of the door itself. We're going to get to darken that a little bit. Maybe even on the bottoms of where the lines are. Not like so. Down in here, it's definitely going to be darker. Maybe up here. You sure? working it around, get to where you want, so it looks good. Not like that. 
And you can add some more as it dries if you need to. It needs to be darker. And that's just what we'll do. Alright, as you can see, I've done <coughs> quite a bit here. I took a little bit of a break here. And I kind of did a little bit more to it here and there. I added some the, the brown on the steps here. Didn't have to be perfect. Just give them about the way they are right here. Maybe you can pause it and, and get an idea of where it is. I add some of the little the purpley spots here and some brown spots and purple over here. And doesn't have to be perfect. It's, the idea is to make this look like it's an old brick, brick, brick and plaster building. That's basically what it was. So I add some three more colors to the palette, and that's going to be Naples yellow, lemon yellow, and what was this other one? Turner's yellow. So this is the Naples yellow uh, that I'll be using first. And we're going to just add some water to it. We're going to thin it out a little bit. Probably going to use quite a bit of it, but probably not as much as I put out here on the bench. But we'll see. So we're going to start just adding it in very gently. Just try to Keep it in the lines there. Let that let the browns show. You want them to show. That's why I went ahead and did them ahead of time. Let them brown show right through. That's why I added water to it so it would it would do that. It would make it more translucent. And we'll add some other colors in with that too, eventually. But we want to get this base light brown on for us with some water in it, a little bit of water. Go right up to them those seams. That'll help smooth everything out real nice and pretty. And they don't need to go any specific way because, like I said, it's old brick and plaster. It's all cracking and it's old with a lot of age to it and stuff like that. So if you leave a little some spots here and there, that's fine. Just make sure you use plenty of water. And uh, we'll be adding some other colors into it anyway. Just keep on going with it. Get some lighter, darker, whatever. We'll eventually we'll draw some little lines in there for the cracks and stuff like that. That's how we'll do that. Uh, right there is going to be actually a bunch of flowers in this area here, so I'm not going to concentrate too much on that particular corner. Too much up a little bit there. <coughs> There's some in here. Add some more water to it as we need it. I want it a little bit thinner because I want the yellow to come in, blending in with these other colors. We're actually kind of blending on the palette, basically. It would be a real job for us to mix all them colors and make them look right. So we just kind of mix it right here on the palette and go for it. Maybe it'll come out beautiful, and maybe I'll oh, tell me it looks horrible. <laughs> but we'll see. We will see. Some more water. Now, let's see. These steps right here, these tops of these first ones up here, can actually have the same maple yellow. We'll probably add some other color to it, but it'll be the nickel yellow most likely. I'm not adding too much water to the steps, but do something like that. Just do that or we'll touch it up as we go. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a little bit yellow there anyway. Right up to the other brown. Right 
up to it. Any flowers in there, so those don't, don't really matter. Probably have to put pink there, but I just kind of do it out of habit. Not quite so thin there. But we can add more to it if we need to as we go. And let's see, one, two, the three bottom steps here are going to have very little of this yellow in here. It's going to be actually more of a browner color. We'll add some brown. This yellow to some of the brown, most likely. Just a few spots here and there. Indicate a little bit of a little white, maybe. Not much. Some more water. And we'll do the same over this area, but, but we'll be lightening up some of this as we go. And we'll start to see a good picture here pretty soon of what we're doing. We'll start, we'll be making headway, and that's the main thing. Start making some headway on it. And it's starting to look like something. We hope. So I'm just kind of pushing that paint right into the canvas. You know there's just water in there, paint. There's no medium really but water. But I don't want too much water in because it'll make the paint break down. So use just a little bit of water, spread it around, that's why we'll add more to it here and there, we'll add we need it. Right up to the door, around the line. flowers here, but it's not that critical. Turn a bit more water. I do want to try to keep some of that brown fairly prevalent. Like I said, lighter, the lighter colors and then there's darker yellows and the, it's, the idea is to make it look old. It's gonna look old. The buildings have been there for hundreds of years, some of them. Of course, we don't want any of them white spots showing through the canvas, if we can help it. This yellow, is, if it gets too dark with the yellow, we'll be adding some lighter yellow. We'll be using a little different color of it. We'll have some darker that will go in there eventually too. Just like so. I'm going to just Turn this off a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and finish this yellow and we'll turn it back in. got most of the yellow done there. So <clears throat> now what I've done is I've taken some white and I've added maybe one part white and two parts of the turn of yellow and I just made it lighter. And I, the idea is I want it to be definitely lighter than the other yellow. And you'll be able to see the difference when you put it on there. You can probably tell right there it's definitely getting some yellower tones, a lot yellower, a lot lighter here and there. And that's to help give it that old look. Like 
So. We'll probably even put some straight white, titanium white in there in some of the spots also. So, over here too, same place. So a lot of that would be covered with flowers, like I said. But I put some there anyway, just in case. Like that. Now the bottom here I'm going to make it a little bit lighter even. I'm going to add a little bit more white to the same turn as yellow. And we'll put a little bit more water in here. But it's going to be mixed in too, but we're going to start off with something a little bit lighter. Or differentiate where the actual floor is out here and we'll probably darken this up some more too in different spots we want to put a little bit more yellow in here of the lighter color Okay, you got all kinds of white areas there still and everything, so I'll just wash the brush real quick, wipe it off. Then we'll go right back to the other yellow we we're using again. Then go ahead and fill in some of the other little gaps. A little bit here and there. Sure you cover the whole <coughs> and to cover the whole canvas and one of them little canvas white spots don't showing through. So just grind that paint right in there as much as you can. Of course you don't want to ruin your brushes either, but you can get that paint right in there. Make sure you got covered with paint. Now the yellow is done, I added some the light brown here. I actually put a little bit of the brown and, and the Naples yellow together. And that's how we got that color right there. We'll probably add some more light spots on here and there and whatever. Right now I just added some purple and the uh, burnt sienna <coughs> and some water. And all I want to do now is we want to add some little cracks here and there and stuff like that. And now I drew some in there before, so I'm going to try to follow them lines. And we can just add them little cracks here and there. And that's really all they are, like little cracks in the plaster and whatnot. Makes it have that old look to it. Just like that. Wherever you want them, I mean, you don't have to have in any particular order or anything like that. Um, this thing here is got a line here. I should have had the steps actually probably up this way a little bit more. 
In fact, I may end up having to do that. We'll bring them up to here on that step there. These will be covered with flowers. And we got a little crack, uh, maybe right about here. And this and that here. And this uh, runs along about like that. I started breaking, get some more water. It's going to be good and wet. A little bit slow with it. Just some little cracks here and there. Give it that look of being old and wearing out. You don't know, it could be anywhere, you know. be lots of them in the same area like this one. See my saw. Use that same color for around the bricks and stuff like that. And I think there's one up here. So it was just I may put a block in there and you can still see it. And there's some and in here. Like so. There. So right there. And it should really have some lines for some blocks that were in there at one time. Up in here somewhere. And then we have some down in here. And we had the line right there that we put in. We put in at the same time. Up 
sucks. Lines here. Anywhere you want to put some bricks, just put them in. Wherever you think they need to be, just put them in there. I'm adding some, but I know that we're in the actual original drawing that I saw. Just because I think they need to be there. Alright, something about the uh, Okay. <coughs> Make sure you're spraying your paint so you keep them keep it nice and wet. You don't want it to dry up on you. Even your picture you can spray just a little bit, just mist it a little bit. <clears throat> okay, now we need to add some more colors. We need some sap green, and we can start working on these flowers. A little bit of sap green. Any other colors we probably got already, hopefully. Oh, we got a pink somewhere. There it is. Got a pink. Put that right here. Okay. The first thing we'll do is uh, maybe those big old flowers up here. We get some leaves in here, maybe get some sap green. Get it out a bit with some water. Nice and thin, just like you did with the cracks. It could be a hair that thicker, it really won't matter that much, but so you just grab it and pull it. If it doesn't pull good, put more water in. And sometimes you can get to wait for them to dry a little bit before you can put too many leaves in. Thinner. A lot thinner. They'll be hanging out all over the place. Away from that pot. Going in different directions. Just like so. having some uh, little foliage down in here too, so I'll put a little bit of grassy looking things here, but we'll put some other stuff there anyway. Get it started. And we've got the... Um, we have some coming out of here, so we might look at a few in here. Over steps right there. Rip them down. Rip them up and down. Like so. I'm not too much on flowers either, people, so I don't expect too much. <laughs> I'm going to put some little 
doers up in here. Some bigger leaves if you want. You can drop them down. And all over the pot. Like so. Got all of these little pots have the same little thing. They got little doers and buds and stuff all over them. There's a lot of flowers over in this part, that's for sure. They're everywhere. All the way up these steps. Somebody like a lot of flowers. Bunch of them for sure. Get some more water. Once you use this green here, you can always add some um, white to it, or some more yellow even. You get some different color grasses going. I'm certainly going to be doing the same thing. <coughs> green up in here. Big old leaves. Grab some uh, yellow. We'll add it to this green. It's a different variety here. <coughs> Makes all the difference. All the different colors, greens and yellows and all that stuff. Makes a big difference. And highlights in there. And we can probably drop some right over the base. Drop in here. So, 
this one. Them things are coming out everywhere. These little guys down here. They got them too. Can't neglect them. Side some more, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing we can do is we can take uh, another brush, maybe like a round brush, and we can just tap it into this thicker green, and we can tap in some. Also some colors. You don't want that to be thicker though. You don't want all that uh, don't want all that water in there. That seems to have too much water in it for some reason. Sounds like my neighbor playing army out there somewhere. Let's try the fan brush. That might be a good idea. Let's try the fan brush. And we'll just tap some in that way. and whatnot. I'll have some up in here too, maybe. Up in there. Over there. Definitely gonna have some ferns up in here. We got one important guy up here too. We gotta get this fella. He needs to be in there. That tree. We almost forgot him. We almost forgot that tree. And he needs a little bit of this lighter color on one side. A highlight. And we can get some more of this green. And some, add some more in right in here. And add some little leaves here and there. looking things maybe.
Okay. Clean the brush. Maybe, maybe, a little bit bigger brush, maybe. Some more of this yellow. Put it over here. Put a bit of white in it, maybe. Whitish yellow. Wow, oh, like a color. Maybe we got some flowers up here, maybe. Like that. Kind of in the background a little bit, maybe. Some do hit these down here. Who's in my jiggy? Whatever you want to call them. Okay. Oh my goodness, if we got up here on that window, I bet I have some up there. Roses up here. Make some little roses. 